100,000 Missourians could lose their health coverage through Medicaid. The state's program director expects this to happen when eligibility renewals resume. Lauren Schwinker is live in the newsroom with the deadline and a way to make sure you are covered. Lauren. Paul, the pandemic prevented people from being kicked off of Medicaid, even if they made more money. Now, starting April 1st, eligibility checks are coming up again, and they'll happen every year. I spoke with a nurse in Waynesville who says she's very concerned and not enough people know about this as April approaches. What's most concerning is we're going to have a lot of our patients that are going to walk through our door thinking we can see them when they've got something going on, and we're going to have to turn them away because they're not going to have the health insurance that they thought they had. Rebecca McLean is a nurse practitioner in Waynesville. For the past couple of weeks, she's frantically tried to warn her patients who use Medicaid that renewals are coming up quick. The plan is that they're going to mail everybody a notification that says, hey, um, the pandemic exemption is expiring. We need you to um, recertify your paperwork to prove you still qualify for Medicaid. The state of Missouri will start conducting renewals on April 1st. And some Medicaid patients say they still had no idea that this was happening. Without my insurance, I can't afford my Ozempic or my insulin or my blood thinner because I have recurring blood clots. That's Jennifer Shelton. She says she had no idea eligibility checks were resuming post-pandemic and that she only knew because she works in health care. Do you feel like the state is doing enough to communicate this with you? No. There's a lack of communication. Nurse McLean says you need to make sure all of your information is up to date with the state and to be prepared or you will be dropped. Make sure all your information is current and up to date and then make sure you get your application refiled and resubmitted. She also urges Medicaid patients to have a plan because you may not qualify anymore. McLean says if you no longer do, the state can help you find another resource if you fill out your paperwork. Maybe through Obamacare or maybe through some of the other portals that we have available now that kind of help um, Missourians to get insurance when they're uninsured. Make sure to keep an eye out from an official letter that'll be coming from the state. Now, state officials say you need to make sure that your address is updated so you get that letter. If you have any more questions about what's going on with Medicaid, you can visit KY3.com and click on this article.